Okay, here I have a halfway progress on putting water cooling block on NVIDIA card GTX 285 here and um, tell you what I did so far. So first thing you need to do is remove stock cooling which is look like this so you have the standard cooling system applied on the card. To remove that you need to unscrew 12 screws on the back of the card from the circuit board and not obvious but you don't need to forget two screws on a bracket so 12 on a card two in a bracket when you're done with that you will have a little bit of resistance because you have a thermal grease everywhere and thermal pods uh, on the card so it's sucked to the card itself so a little bit wiggle the cooling system and pull it up so you'll get a little bit of resistance don't be afraid don't force it so it can be removed with a little bit of patience after you're done with this you need to do two things to install EK water cooling block which will look like this goes here nicely first of all you need to apply thermal pads this goes in a few areas. Have area here, have one chip here, and two more here and there. So we have a few pieces of a thermal pad thing. You cut it with your scissors on the proper size and you just apply on all areas which specified in the manual. When you're done with that, my next step will be applying thermal grease on the remaining chips that required to do so. This is all those memory chips around a big NVIDIA chip here. So here you put on every single one. You put on this big NVIDIA chip. Thermal grease a little bit of that. And uh, you will put a little bit here on this controller. So when you're done, have this thermal grease applied everywhere. I'll just I'll put the ball lock in this position, screw it to the card with all screws I have here, and I will be done. So I can continue with my actual water cooling installation. So it's another rocket science. People do it, so don't be afraid. Just be careful. Don't knock any uh, components of the board. Uh, don't try to like creep the stock cooling of the card right away so be a little bit careful here other than that it's easy thing maximum will take you 20 minutes so I will be back with uh, continue working on the case itself